All right, I mean, you're in drop coverage. I can't stand it, but it's not really the problem here. Stop. This player's dribbles picked up, and he, and Devin Booker's doing fine one-on-one. Where's DeAndre Ayton going? Go to your man. Look at this. Where's DeAndre Ayton going? There's nothing that you don't have to help. So now you just give up a wide-open jumper. Okay, I, I don't know what this is. This guard is cheating this ball screen. You can't ice a ball screen in the middle of the floor. So what exactly is going on here? This guard's going to get in the lane. Aiden has to step up here on this pick and pop. You're not going to be able to get out, so it's a wide open three. What? Why is DeAndre Aiden jogging here? You need to sprint back. This is transition defense. What? What is he? And he's going towards the ball. Sprint. This is. You should be guarding this player. So now this player can guard this player. But what is this? So it's a wide open three. Okay, down screen. You have to be attached to your man as he's setting this down screen. So you, your your arms are out. So now this player can't curl. He has to go out, and this chase can happen. But you do nothing. So now look. Now DeAndre Ayton has to help here. So his man is obviously just wide open in the corner for three. Totally botched switch. Why is Devin Booker wrestling with the screener? This player certainly looks like he's switching. So if you're Tevin Booker, you cannot be wrestling with the screener. As the screen gets set, you need to be up and ready to guard. And this player's underneath and ready to guard the screener. But you're wrestling with the screener. This player's trying to switch. Your switch is late, wide open three. Okay, what is this player doing? You have to be seeing your man, okay? It's nice that you're seeing the ball, but you have to see, back needs to be the baseline so you can see the ball and your man at all times. You just ball watch here, so now your man's wide open, and it's going to end up being a layup. This is literally out of a blooper skit. Stop. So this player's going this way. Just go under all of this and meet him on the other side. What, 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 look at this. You literally run into your own man. Your own, you get screened by your own man. So now the player you're guarding is wide open, and it's going to end up just being a layup. This is horrible transition defense. Stop. This player cannot be going towards the ball. He needs to be getting back this way towards this player here. The other reason he can't go towards the ball is because we need him in the, we need him in the gaps defensively. See, look at this right here. See how he's going towards the ball? No. You should be sprinting this way. Okay? Getting back this way. Because look what happens if the, instead of you going towards the ball, you're somewhere over here. Now there's no place for this player to go. But instead, you're here doing accomplishing nothing and now this player is going to get right to the rim for a layup this is a mess there's no reason for you to need to be calling for a switch okay stop you just fall asleep on you're guarding your man here fine okay but then your man lifts and you fall asleep on him okay so now you're calling for a switch that uh never happens look at this this is a terrible switch we have two people guarding one here and so this player in the corner is wide open all because you fell asleep on your man look, i mean here's the problem with trying to fight over the top of a screen is this player's feet's never set so now it's just a step back jumper so again this isn't much of a screen but it's enough of one so why are we not hedging here okay push this ball handler out the backside defender is literally standing and waiting right here second that ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be quick, I'm going to be able to bump you back anyways. But instead, you're making this player fight over the top of the screen. His feet are never set, and it's an open jumper. Hey, why is this player not guarding his man? Like right here. Stop at the three-point line. Get your feet set in a defensive stance. Where are you going? You keep backpedaling. So now you just give up a wide-open three. Don't lean towards the screen. You want to make this ball handler you have to come off of this screen. Watch this player defending the ball. You can see how he's leaning towards the screen there. Snell's man's going to refuse it. Step back jumper, and it's going to end up being a three-shot foul. There's no reason to be sagging here on this player, okay? Right here, this player needs to get his back totally to the baseline. But look, I can send, I can get up and send him here, no place to go. Or here, no place to go. But you sag, and you end up fouling them, and it's a two-shot foul. Okay, if you're going to force this player this way, like this player's doing, and this is a nice job, this player can't be hugging the three-point line. This is the shell drill. You need to move in, okay? Your feet don't have if, wide stance. Your feet don't have to move inward. So when this player comes this way, I'm stunting. There's no place for him to go without having to move my feet, and I'm easily able to recover back out. But instead, you let this player get right into the lane, draw help at the rim, and now it's a dunk. 
What is this? I, this makes no sense. Why are two people guarding this player right here? There's nobody guarding in the corner, obviously, now. So this player is going to be wide open. What on earth was that? DeAndre Ayton, there's no reason to sag. Look at this. Please get up here. You cannot just give up a wide open three. I can get up and send this player right here. There's no place for him to go. Or if this player would get beneath the three point line, I could get up and send him here and there's no place to go. But instead you sag, so you give up a wide open three. Just guard one-on-one, okay? If you get screened, you get screened. But look what's happening here. See how this player's feeling out of screen? Well, that screen never gets set, so now you give up an open three because of it. Okay, this is quite elementary here. So Chris Paul, right, okay, the pass is in the air right now. Chris Paul should be sprinting to his man, okay? In fact, as soon as his dribble's picked up, Chris Paul should be sprinting to his man. Why is Chris Paul just standing here? Ball's in midair. Chris Paul still hasn't moved. He takes his first step. He's taken his first step towards his man. The ball's already in his shot pocket, so it's a open three. Stop trying to fight over these screens. Look what happens. You're never able to guard the ball, so it's just a step back three. So, again, let's take a look. Let's go back. Let's hedge, please. Get this guard out of here, okay? Um... The second the ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I can recover. In the meantime, backside help just slides over right here. But I'm able to bump you back quickly anyways. But instead, again, you're making this player fight over the top of the screen, and it leads to another open three. If you're Chris Paul and you get cross-matched onto this big right here, you've got to initiate contact now. In fact, it should have been sooner. It should have been right when he crossed the three-point line. But you have to initiate contact. That's the most important thing. Battle for real estate. Make them earn every inch on this floor. You do nothing, though. Look at this. Look who's initiating contact. It's the it's uh, the offensive player. So now look. Now they're just going to be able to throw it over the top. He's got you perfectly sealed, and it's going to end up being an and one. In stupid drop coverage, you just give the guard the lane. It's an open floater at the rim. Okay, so let's not give the guard the lane. Let's push the guard out of the lane. The second he hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I can recover, which is going to be quickly. In the meantime, I have backside help right here, but again, I'm going to be able to push you back quickly. But instead, now nah, let's just give this guard the lane and a wide-open shot at the rim. There's a horrendous switch on this dribble handoff. Stop. If you're switching this dribble handoff, okay, this player needs to move over quickly, and this player needs to take this player... Uh, handing the ball off quickly. You're, Devin Booker is just not ready to switch. Is This This is not being ready to switch. This player's going to go right into the lane, draw a two-shot foul. You're switching this ball screen in your Chris Paul. You need to be underneath the screener right now so you can initiate contact. That's what's most important. But you're battling for real estate now, making them earn every inch on this floor now. But look what happens. You switch over the top. So look at this. Now this player's got you sealed, and he's initiating contact. So it just ends up being a two-shot foul. Okay, this is if your footwork is everything away from the ball. Okay, stop. This pass is getting made. Right now it's being made. Look at Chris Paul right here. Look at his feet. His feet are taking him inward. So now you're going to struggle to get back outward. It's a rip-and-go drive into the lane, draw help, and a layup. Okay, you're guarding full court. This is an atrocious gamble right there. That's all it takes. So now you're beat. Now this player's just going to be able to be wide open for three. Don't backpedal in transition if you're this player. Just sprint back, sprint back, sprint back. Make sure that you are behind this player. But you backpedal. So look, now this player is going to get behind you, and you're going to be forced to foul, and they're going to the line again. Again, who initiates contact is so important right here. Right now, this player should be up and initiating contact with this player right here. Okay, but look who's in the one initiating contact. It's the offensive player. So now look, now he's just going to be able to bully you, bully you, but he's catching this ball way too low, and it's just an easy little two. Again, you're in stupid drop coverage, so now that creates just a two-on-one, and it's just how easy is this right back to the line. Okay, so let's take a look here. Again, please get up. Push this guard out. Backside defenders right here. Okay, if you want to make a skip pass, I can easily recover. 
Um, but again, the second the ball handler hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, I'm going to be able to recover, and which is going to be quickly, and I'll be able to bump you back over to your man. But instead, you're just giving up two-on-ones for no reason, and they're going right back to the free throw line. Okay, you cannot start, whatever this is, switching or hedging. This ball screen, you have to stay level to your man. If this screen gets set, then you can switch, or then you can hedge. But you're already switching or hedging, whatever you're doing, before, and there's no screen set. So this player's just going to slip it. Now he's wide open. That draws backside help, and it's just a wide open three. Do not guard with your back to the sideline like this. Stop. You've got to have your back to, to totally to the baseline. I'm seeing ball. I'm seeing man. When you're back, look at this. You're, you're out of position. So now when this ball gets swung, you're not able to get out and guard the ball, so it's an open three. You're switching this ball screen. you got to be re- up. Stop. The screen's getting set right now. Okay, right now as the screen is getting set, you need to be up. Devin Booker needs to be under. But you're sagging when you switch. Look at so this player is just going to shoot an open three. Okay, again, if this, play- if this player sets a screen, okay, then you can switch or hedge or whatever you're doing. But you got to stay level to your man. Because if he slips this, you need to go with him. There is no ball screen set. So you're switching a screen that there is no screen. So now this player is going to slip it, get wide open, draw a second defender. And now this player is able to get right to the rim. And uh, it's a two-shot foul. No reason to sag on this big here. Get up. Where is he going if you force him this way? Where is he going if you force him this way? Nowhere. But you sag, so now he has what's going to end up being an open jumper. Why are you angling this player this way? Flip your hips. If he comes this way, where is he going? I have multiple Suns players clogging up the lane. You're going to get beat away from any help, so now that sends help at the rim. So there's nobody to guard this player. And it's just be a little drop-off here uh, for a dunk. First of all, it is totally asinine to be guarding away from the ball up here. Drop. Please, okay, because now this player can flip his hips, and now there's no place for you to go because you should be around here, okay? But instead, you're up here, so now there is you can't send this player in to help, and he's going to get right to the rim and a little turnaround jumper. Cannot backpedal if you're this Suns defender right here. Look at this. Look at him backpedal. See, he's going to backpedal, backpedal. So now you're giving up an open three. All right, this is totally unacceptable what this player is about to do. He starts to sprint, but look at him stop, okay? Keep sprinting. Why are you slowing down right now? Look at this. Stop. Keep keep sprinting. Go. So this player can stay here, but you slow down. So now this player's got to stay underneath the ball, and it's a two-on-one instead of a two-on-two, and it leads to a layup. Stop leaning towards the screen. Look at this player guarding the ball handle. Look at him lean one way towards the screen. So now this player is going to beat you. That forces this big to have to help. And now there's nobody to guard the three-point line. So it's a pick and it's a, well, just open three. Okay, the opposing team is in the bonus. This is, you cannot run drop coverage here. Okay, get up. The sideline's right here. The second the ball handler hesitates, picks up a dribble, brings his dribble back, which is going to be like in a second I can recover. In the meantime, backside help needs to step up here, but I'm going to bump you, be able to bump you back quickly. Instead, you're in drop coverage. Now this player's got to guard from over the top, and look, you can see, you, you, can we see his hands? Nope. He's going to hook this player, and it's going to end up being a two-shot foul with him in the bonus. Again, watch this player's feet as this pass goes back to his man, okay? Look at this. This pass is going back to his man right now. Look at this player's feet, okay? Where are his feet taking him? Inward. That means you're going to struggle to get back outward, and it's an open three. You cannot jog back to your man. You need to sprint back. Look when you jog. See, you're never going to get your feet set. Look at this jogging. Your feet are never set, so it's just a step back three. This is just insane. In, in transition, you do not get back to a random spot on the floor. You get ready to find a body to guard. When you get to a random spot on the floor, now this player is just open for three. Again, you're in drop coverage. Again, this guard just gets the lane and in an open floater. Again, look at how easy this is to switch because the sideline is so dang close. 
Okay, second that ball handle hesitates, picks up his dribble, brings his dribble back, which will be in less than a second with the sideline right there. I can recover. In the meantime, I do need backside help, but I'm going to be able to bump you back in less than a second. But nope, let's just give up. Let's just give this guard the lane and an open floater. Don't lean towards the screen. Make this ball handler use the screen. Look at this player. Look at him leaning towards the screen. So now this player is just going to refuse it, get right into the lane, and it's an easy two. All right, when you screen the middle of the zone right here, this player just needs to step up. We're good here. We're good here, and we're good here. This player just needs to go with this man now. This is now his responsibility. This man in this area is his responsibility. But again, look at this. We have two people going to the ball, so that means that the middle of the zone is going to be wide open, and it's a layup. You get back to bodies, not random spots on the floor. I can't think of a more random spot on the floor than right here. Get up, guard someone. But instead, you're just in a random spot on the floor, so this player is wide open for three. Never guard past the three-point line away from the ball. Your man is all the way out here. Who cares? Drop to right here. Now there's no place for this player to go. I can stunt and then get back out to my man who's at half court. But you're just guarding in no man's land. You're not... It's just a disaster. This Now this player has a driving lane he should never have, and it's a layup. You cannot be standing in random spots on the floor in transition. This player needs to get up and announce, I've got this player here. So this player can stay home here. But there's no communication. You're just standing in the middle of nowhere. So now look, we got a big problem. Two people going here, nobody going here. So it's just going to eventually lead uh, to a wide open catch and shoot three. Suns are in a zone, okay? When somebody is guarding nobody, that means somebody is leaving somebody. So we're good here, here, here. Uh, this player is eventually going to guard here. This player right here is guarding no one. You have to get out to the corner. This is this player's area of the zone, okay? This player's got to guard this uh, free throw line extended area of the zone. But again, when, when somebody's guarding nobody, like we just pointed out, now that means that the corner is going to be wide open, so it's a rip-and-go drive into the lane, and you can see it forces the defense to collapse and eventually leads to a three. You cannot just keep backpedaling. Look at this. Get up and force this player this way. There's no place to go. Instead, you're just going to keep backpedaling and just let this man have an open three. But again, you're in the zone. This is a problem. We have two people now guarding nobody, okay? This player needs to get up and guard the ball. This player's got to take the middle of the zone, okay? Uh, but look what happens. Again, we have essentially two people guarding the ball, nobody taking this guy, so now just a bounce pass and a floater at the free throw line. What is this player doing, okay? This player's guarding one-on-one. -on -one. Get up towards your man, when you're just, this is just standing in the middle of nowhere. So now it's just going to be an easy pass to your man and an open three. I mean, Jesus. Again, where are you getting beat? Why are your hips allowing this player to go this way? Flip your hips, force him this way. There's no place to go. I have a defender right here in the gaps. He can move over a little bit, but okay. But instead, you get uh, you for uh, you get you allow yourself to get beat. Away from any help until it's at the rim, which is too late, and it's a two-shot foul.